Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, welcome. Now, even though I come at you guys this video shirtless, don't worry, this is not a Mega Crash or Shirtless Maniac video, despite how my appearance may look. And generally speaking, whenever I am shirtless, that's generally when Mega Crasher is in full character mode, but I assure you guys, I don't come at you guys this video as Mega Crasher the character, but rather as the man behind that persona Mega Crasher, known as Corey. And I just gotta say that, wow, I, I apologize in advance for not coming prepared for a video like this, but honestly, I don't even know where to begin. I don't know what to say. Holy shit, ladies and gentlemen, today is our one year anniversary to this channel, to this community. I mean, wow, one year passed already, man. Like, it, it, it's true what they say, time flies when you are having fun. And time flies also when you are super busy and super just concentrated and into the content that you are dishing out. And I just gotta say, man, wow, we shelled out over 700 videos since the beginning of uh, our channel. You know what I'm saying? I gotta say, whew, I did not expect us to get this far. Honestly, like, if I'm gonna be completely 150%. Okay, that's beyond 100%, okay? If I'm gonna be 150% honest with you guys, I did not expect us to get to even, like, to even half as far as we are now, okay? We are well over 3,000 plus amazing people subscribed. I did not expect half of that. Like, I would expect like, maybe, like, maybe 1,000 or maybe, like, you know, 1,200 or something like that, uh, which is still a pretty solid amount of people to have subscribed to a channel. And regardless, you know, I wouldn't love you guys any less because you guys are fucking amazing. You guys are what make this channel in this community as best as it's ever been. You know what I'm saying? And the best that it ever will be. But my god, I just, I cannot believe this. Like, in the span of, okay, first of all, first of all, we hit 3,000 people subscribed to our community on Halloween of all days, man. Halloween. And today, we are almost at 3,150 people subscribed. Good grief. I'm just, I'm like, how, how is this even happening? How is this happening? And I mean, like, part of it can be attributed to the fact that one of my Pokemon Sun and Moon videos has blown way the fuck up. I mean, we are well past 26,000 views on that video. And I know that I'm, I'm not a man about views, I'm not a man about numbers and all that stuff, but... Uh, but when it comes to uh, seeing how well your channel is doing and seeing uh, what you excel the most in, then yes, you know, view count is kind of important, but to me, it's not important. It's not the most imperative thing. The most imperative and important thing of this channel is all of you guys. I mean, you know, we could have all the views in the world and all that stuff, but without all of you guys, it wouldn't mean a goddamn thing. You guys are what make it happen, you know what I'm saying? Like... My dream is coming true like you would not believe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> wow. Honestly, guys, this it's it's moments like these that I really don't even know what to say. That th th like this 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 whole thing just kind of speaks for itself. You know what I'm saying? Our progression from when we restarted one year ago to this day, we restarted. We were originally Mega Masher. And then we made the changeover to Mega Crasher. And of course, there was quite a few people that were questioning me on this. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Why would you do that, man? Like, this this might not be a good idea. And, you know, I'm just thinking to myself, it's like, you know what? It's like, it sucks. But fresh starts sometimes are the best things to, re to reignite that flame. You know what I'm saying? And look at us. Look at us, guys. We are as far as we have ever been. And... I, I honestly, like, it, it almost feels like th that I have no business being as, as high up as we are. Like, you know, like, it, it's, it's not just about me. I mean, people can say that, you know, oh, like, this is my channel and, you know, these are my subscribers and all that stuff. Like, you know, like, oh, this is mine, 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 mine. But the, the, the thing of it is, it doesn't work with me like that. I mean, sure, the channel is under my name. And you guys are my audience, you guys are my fans, you guys are my subscribers. But the thing of it is, is that you guys are so much more than that. I almost kind of feel, you know, kind of uh, 
guilty and dirty calling you guys that because I kind of feel like that, you know, I'm referencing you guys as objects rather than as people. I call you guys my friends and you guys talk to me like friends. And one of the ways that I consider you guys my friends is the amount of snap criticism that you guys give to me when it's needed, okay? Like, you guys don't hold back. And I've said this before a bunch of times, I know. But I kind of feel like that's appropriate to say it again because the whole thing just kind of reiterates itself. Is the fact that you guys have given me criticisms that, you know, you guys thought came off as harsh. But I'm just like, you know what? Like... I more than appreciate you being as blunt and as harsh about this as anything because it's like, well, here's the thing. It's like, obviously, I'm doing something that's that's kind of making you feel that way. So I want to correct it. I want to fix it. So it's like I, I take I take your guys's uh, criticisms. I take your guys's words. You know, I mulch it up into a protein powder, mix it up into pre-workout and I drink it down, get myself charged up, get myself super fired up. And I take it as energy, make it stronger for me, and I end up producing better content for you guys as a result. And because of all that, you guys have enjoyed it just that much more. I mean, especially for my reaction videos. I mean, I know that this channel is not mainly a reaction channel, but I do a fair share of reaction videos every now and then, especially if it pertains to Pokemon. And I just gotta say that for reaction videos, man, like, I fucking love sharing my reactions with you guys. I mean, it's honestly, I wouldn't want to have it any other way. And of course, um, with some of the comments I've got in the past about my reactions, I just kind of want to address that there real quick, kind of clear up some misunderstandings. Don't worry, it's nothing bad. Um, you know, the people that brought it up, you know, you guys are more within your right to bring up, uh, criticisms and whatnot, like I said. Um... I thrive off of criticism, so the fact that you guys would, you know, bring it up and stuff like that, it's, it's fucking gold to me. But there would be some people that would say that, you know, my reactions are staged, that my reactions are fake. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, when I do my reactions and I'm in my character form, okay, I use my character's energy to amp up the reactions, to amp up the energy and the excitement, but that doesn't mean that the reactions itself is fake, because... I do my reaction videos on a first time uh, viewing basis, meaning that it is the very first time ever that I see uh, you know, a video and I react to it, but I want to make it more exciting, so I kind of use my character's energy traits to kind of amp it up, amp up the excitement, but I don't uh, stir too far away from it being a truthful reaction because uh, character or not, you know, the videos that I react to, such as the Pokemon Generations uh, episodes, such as the Pokemon Sun and Moon videos, you know, I am genuinely mesmerized by uh, what is taking place there. I mean, like I said, with Pokemon Generations, man, like, they, they are doing a bang-up job, okay? They are just making those videos so well. I mean, they kick the pants off of a lot of the anime episodes. I'm just going to say that right now. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just so cool, like, what they're doing. Um, but I hope that does kind of clear some stuff up about whether or not, uh, some people think that my reactions are fake. No, they are not fake. I just kind of use my character's, uh, over-excessive energy traits to kind of amp up the energy and the excitement to kind of, uh, to kind of, uh, really put into perspective just, uh, what kind of reactions that these sort of videos, uh, you know, give to me personally. I mean, if I was to react uh, to them completely out of character and to be uh, completely, like, myself, uh, I would just, I, like, my reactions would be a little bit uh, less entertaining, I just want to say. But, you know, like, I would still be, you know, as mesmerized and as happy and as uh, energetic about it, but I choose to use my character uh, to make it more entertaining for you guys. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you guys, uh, do you guys get where I'm going with this here? Um, you know, like, hopefully you guys understand where I'm coming from here. I'm, I'm trying to explain it the best I can, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, uh, anyways, um, some people would get that confused with the, uh, disclaimers I put in my, uh, descriptions and in the comments. Like, I, I put my disclaimers in the comments as well, so that way it's so much easier for people to see that, hey, this guy, he's, uh, in his character, okay? He's not really that crazy. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, uh, moving on from that, uh, like, wow, 
Like, there is so much to recap uh, over the last year that it would honestly take me, like, hours. Which, I, I don't think you guys would want to sit through a video that fucking long, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna, like, sum it up to, like, the most, like, crucial moments. Um... And I've kind of felt like that one of the uh, biggest moments was when we hit 1,000 amazing people subscribed to our community, and I got so fucking excited, man. Like, I ended up suplexing my chair, for God's sake, which, you know, you can see the chair behind me. I mean, it's still, uh, it's still alive, don't worry. It just has a broken leg right now, which I'm meaning to fix, but don't you worry. Like, I'm not getting rid of that chair. That chair and I had way too many memories that I'm not getting rid of. I don't care what anybody says. Um... And then it was around that time that we ended up actually getting um, attacked by, uh, by you know, a bunch of uh, dislike accounts. Like, you know, like dislike botters and people who were uh, uh, throwing out a whole bunch of hate and inflammatory comments our ways. Uh, and, you know, ac accusing me of subbotting. I'm just like, that's funny. Um... <laughs> Subbotting, okay. If I, if I was to subbot, okay, hypothetically speaking, if I was to subbot, then this channel would have more, way more than three that well back then, way more than one thousand people subscribed. Like I did a little bit of researching on you know subbotting and like how people do and stuff like that, and you know people who subbot can get practically any amounts of subscribers that they uh, so desire. Uh, they would be fake subscribers because, you know, you're buying subscribers and they are botted accounts. So, there you go. Um, but no, it took six months to be able to work up to having, uh, a, you know, a, a community with 1,000 people subscribed. Um, and, you know, it's something that I didn't expect to, ha to have happen. But the fact that you guys came to my aid made me break down in happy tears. Uh, <laughs> you know, like, I was just like... I was overwhelmed. I was just like, wow, you know, like this, this is, this is one of the biggest reasons why I fucking love you guys is because when times get tough, when times get real tough, man, you guys, you guys are there for me. You guys are there for me. And that wasn't the only time that you guys were there for me, which I will get into uh, shortly. But um, speaking of, you know, the, the, you know, the people that were, you know, attacking us and, you know, dislike spamming and botting our videos, um, you know, I've, I've just kind of been thinking to myself, it's like, you know what, man, it's like, life isn't even worth, like, getting, uh, pissed off at those kind of people, because, you know, obviously, like, they, either they got nothing going on in their lives, or, you know, maybe just something, something happened along the way that maybe they got the wrong idea, uh, or something like that, but, you know, I'm just like, you know what, life is way too short to have grudges and to be, you know, pissed off for people for a long amount of time kind of thing, uh, especially for people like that, so I'm just like, you know what, like, you know, I put it behind me, and I'm just like, you know what, I forgive, you know, I forgive, but I won't forget, because it, it's, it's, a, it's a good and a bad moment at the same time, it was bad that it happened, but it was good at the same time, because it showed the amount of unity and the strength that we all as a community have, um, and I've since then forget, forgave those people that, you know, did that to, uh, us and to our videos, because, again, it's just like, you know what, like, shit happens, okay? Sometimes you gotta be the bigger person, just forgive, forget, move on. Um, so there's, so there's that out of the way. Um, another crucial moment, <laughs> oh man, um, this was, uh, this was a pretty, uh, pretty pivotal moment, I will say. And that was my video on June the 5th, where I basically put my foot down and said, enough is enough. Uh, that was the video where I called out Felicify for being a bully and for attacking people for next to no good reason and that video was on the spot like it was something that i was thinking about for a while but i'm just like you know what just stay out of it stay out of it stay out of it it's just like it's not worth it and then it's just like you know just so something inside me snapped i'm just like you know what you know i can say stay out of it stay out of it stay out of it all i want but how long how long is this caged bear going to put up with being constantly sticked with uh, sharp sticks until he gets pissed off and breaks out of his cage, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it was so much more, okay? It was about sticking up for not only the people he was attacking, but also p sticking up for the community that has been so good to me, you know? Like, the Pokemon community is so fucking good to me. 
and the fact that there's so many amazing people a, a part of the community you know, I kind of felt like that I was doing it for you guys, uh, more or less than for myself. Like, I, I wouldn't do shit like that for myself, man. I mean, like, I, like, I'm, I'm kind of, like, one selfless people. It's like, I would much rather do something for someone else than do something my, for myself. Although, at the same time, I do look out for myself at the same time, so, you know, don't get that, uh, misconstrued or whatever. Um, I, I take care of myself. Um, you know, I work out five, six times a week. You know, I eat good and all that stuff. Even though I kind of have the build of both a Machoke and a Snorlax. <laughs> um, you know, where I love to eat and sleep. And I kind of I kind of uh, have a little bit of fat on me. But, you know, it's not, not too bad. A little bit of uh, cushion for the pushing. Uh, never a bad thing. But, um, but yeah, like, I, I was... I did not expect for that video to get so much support. You know, and like I said, it was on the spot. And I was fucking livid. I was pissed off. Uh, as you guys can probably tell in the video and in the thumbnail because it showed me, uh, you know, really pissed. I'm like, like, I, I, I have a hand raised. I'm like, <laughs> like, something like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, looking back, it's like that thumbnail, I'm like, holy shit. Like, I'd be looking, I'm like, is that guy pissed off or something? But, <laughs> anyway, so, um, I was just like, I was, I did not expect to get that much support, and... When that happened, you know, like, he had actually ended up uh, going out of his way to comment on that video. And the fact that you guys all came together, uh, not only, you know, just completely barraging him out of our community, but just, just, you know, coming together and commenting your support. I'm just like, Jesus Christ. It's like, I literally have the best fucking community there is. You know, pardon my language. You know, I swear like a sailor, so I apologize for that. I know some of you guys kind of have your complaints about that, you know, that I swear, trust me, okay, like, I, it's, it's kind of like a dirty habit of mine, I don't mean to do it, it just sometimes happens, okay, uh, my apologies, um, especially for the sensitive viewers out there, uh, but anyways, <laughs> oh my god, um, and, you know, I kind of thought that it would be the end of it from there. It's just like, you know, making a video and then making a follow-up, you know, to kind of clear up some things and be a little more calmer. Because after I made that video, I had to go to the gym because I was about ready to smash a hole through something. You know what I'm saying? And that's never good to ha be destructive. So I'm just like, okay, I'm going to go to the gym, shut the fuck up, and I'm going to train. And come back home and breathe, you know. And then make my follow-up video to kind of explain and apologize on a couple of things if I came off the wrong way. And there was a lot of support that was overwhelmingly met in that video, too. I'm just like, fuck. Like, I was just like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, there was, there was literally nothing else I could say to really describe how much all your guys' support means to me. It means the world and then some. It means the entire universe to me, okay? I don't think any anything can stretch past the universe, you know? It's a never a never ending kind of uh kind of uh, existence. But uh but anyways, um there was that. Uh and then came uh then came a whole bunch of other crap that involved Relicify, which I didn't want to make uh, videos on it, but I did out of principle, which you guys were more than gracious enough uh, to, for, you know, to support me and to understand where I was coming from, right? Um, and, you know, it was uh, videos where I was more organized and I was more, um, you know, I was more calm. I was more, like, just focused and I w had... Um, I had everything kind of planned out, even though, again, it was something I didn't want to do. It's like, okay, well... If this is something that has to be done, I need to be fucking prepared, okay? Um, and it's like the, the uh, analogy I made before in my uh, first, my, my original video that I had talked about where I basically snapped. You know, I made the analogy that's like, okay, you know, for the people that, you know, are just, are sit, that are sitting their way out of it, which, you know, that's more than fine with me, you know, much love to you guys for, you know, just choosing to stay out of it, do your own thing. Um, but there are some people, there are some things, uh, sometimes in life where you do have to stand up and speak up, and stick up for yourself, and stick up for your friends, uh, but that's just me, that's just the way that I was brought up, uh, especially considering, you know, I went through practically my entire life, you know, from grade primary to grade 12, being bullied, and having to constantly stick up for myself, um, that's just the kind of person that I kind of grew up to be, like, that I'm a very stand-up kind of guy, and I do things out of principle, you know? You know, picture, the analogy is this, picture, picture a police unit, okay? You know, picture, you know, these police officers, they, they, their, their job is to fight crime, their job is to keep the peace. But, 
the thing of it is, is that there's always that fear of getting hurt. There's always that fear of getting stabbed, that, you know, getting shot, uh, you know, all that stuff. It's like, you gotta put your fears of injury behind you, and you gotta do your job. You gotta protect the people and do what is right. So, the thing of it is, is that, yes, I ran a huge risk of getting completely bum-rushed and attacked by his fans and all that stuff. But that didn't happen, because there were so many of you guys that uh, outnumbered and outmaneuvered any uh, minuscule bit of hate. Like, there was a few uh, few comments there that uh, that were, was quite laughable uh, when it came to trying to defend him. It's like, well, okay, you're defending a bully, so you're, in other words, you're no better than he is, kind of thing. It's like, you're supporting what he does, um, you know, to be blunt. Uh, but anyways, uh, after I made those videos, uh, excuse me there. I, I was like, okay, that's it. I do not want to make any more. Um, and then, of course, uh, came uh, came the video, <laughs> the video where it was, uh, technically speaking, it was on July 21st, very, very late that night on July 21st, where I made another on-the-spot call-out video because this was after uh, Verlissify made his two videos on his... Um, you know, on his thoughts on the whole uh, hyper training and, you know, calling people, uh, like calling out the company for making it easier for people who are casual to get into competitive play, basically showcasing a very piss poor and elitist attitude. Surprise, surprise. Um, and also saying that hyper training screwed over every legitimate player and that saying that it's going to give uh, cheaters and hackers the advantage and this, that, and the other thing. Like, just a whole bunch of BS, you know what I'm saying? But I just, I was so pissed off that I made a video on the spot, was not planned, all that, and I paid a price. I, I got it, I got nipped in the ass very big at uh, that time. Um... And, you know, it was, it was around that time where I was just, I was like, I, I was like, my heart was, was pounding. It was racing. Like, I swear to God, it was like past like 150 beats to 200 beats per minute. Like, I felt like I was on the verge of having a panic attack because of how upset I made some of you guys, right? And that right there, I kind of felt like was a low point uh, for, for me. Uh, it was definitely something that I wasn't proud of. Um, and then what ended up happening was I made an apology video that was met with more than an overwhelming amount of support like in fact the people that had recently got pissed off and uh unfriended and unsubscribed from here you know they felt bad with the way that they came off like they were just like shit man it's like i'm sorry that uh, that you feel that way you know some of them were saying i'm sorry like that i that I almost made you quit it's like you, you guys didn't almost make me quit but the fact that you guys that i had lost you guys briefly made me really upset and it made me heartbroken because i'm just thinking it's like if I was capable of making you guys upset, then who, who, God knows who else that was innocent I would have made upset. And that that's not me, you know? I kind of felt like I was a monster. And, um, you know, I was on the verge of, uh, of breaking down because I was just like, what the fuck did I just do, man? Like, I, I fucked up. It wasn't a minor fuck up. It was a big fuck up to me. Um, you know, that, that just, that's just my opinion, no, I'm, I'm a little bit hard on myself, okay, uh, <laughs> if you guys didn't know that about me, I'm kind of my own, I'm my own harshest critic, okay, um, but when I made my apology video, and, you know, hand in heart, you know, I was, I was, I came to you guys a broken, humbled human being, the amount of support, and the amount of love was just absolutely overwhelming out of this world, you know, I was just like, wow, and it was honestly just so amazing, the amount of love and support that you guys just poured out, poured into the vessel, and poured into my veins. It was just so amazing. I felt like I, I, that I gained life back kind of thing because of your guys' forgiveness, um, <laughs> which was just it was just so awesome. I know it sounds a little bit corny and all this stuff. My apologies, right? Um, and then, you know, came the, the part where we hit 2,000 amazing people subscribed. And I was just so damn excited. I think I actually ended up tombstoning my fucking chair in uh, in that video. And I got so uh, hyped up and so excited, right? Um, and from there came a whole bunch of Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon videos, uh, you know, for uh, for me to react and discuss. And from there, we gained a lot of friends uh, subscribed to our community from those videos, including uh, the video that I had uh, alluded to earlier that has over 26,000 views 
you know, easily my most viewed video on this channel, easily. And the thing of it is, it's one of my most recent videos, too. October 27th is the published date, okay? Like, I'm just like, holy fuck, like, I still can't believe just how well that video did. And I owe everything and more to you guys, I really do. You know, I owe you guys my life. Because this, this is it, man. You guys have given me life here on YouTube. So I, I the least I can do is owe you guys that and much, much more, you know? And I hope that I'm giving you guys exactly what you guys subscribe here for. Um, you know, if not, please let me know. Give me a kick in the ass or a knee in the face or a knee choke. No, please don't knee choke me. I take it back. Don't knee choke me, please. But anyways, here's the thing. It's like, if there's any, at any time, if you guys are unhappy with any of the content that I produce or you guys are, you know, misunderstand something, please let me know. And I will do everything and then some I can to fix it, right? <laughs> but, uh, but anyways, though, um, fuck, what else is there? Uh, so there, there was a lot of Pokemon Sun and Moon videos, a lot of Pokemon Sun and Moon hype. Um, and then came us hitting 2,500 amazing people subscribed, where I choke slam my fucking chair like the Undertaker, and I even have Undertaker in the thumbnail. And I'm just and there's uh there's my three uh, three starter Pokemon at the um like in the video as well as well as on the thumbnail. You see right here, I got myself Oshawott, Tepig, and Snivy. I mean. Despite fifth generation not being the best generation, I mean, I fucking love these starters. It's like, you know, sure, their final evolutions might not have been the best in designs and stats and all that stuff, but I don't care. It's like, I'm a Pokemon fan at heart. It's like, I love all these Pokemon at the end of the day. So, I mean, you know, that's that's just the, that's just what being a Pokemon fan is all about. Uh, it's about loving the Pokemon even if they look really bad kind of thing. Uh, but anyways, let me just get myself readjusted here. <laughs> um, what else is there? Fuck, there's so much to talk about, but like I said, I'm only gonna touch on the most crucial things and the most pivotal and the, impor the important things. Um, then the fact that, uh, I, that, uh, we hit 3,000 amazing people subscribed on Halloween. My favorite holiday of the year! It was just absolutely amazing. It was so amazing. I was blown back big time. I mean, it was in that period of time that we were gaining so much traction and growth and so many new faces in our community. I'm just like, oh my god, I'm so overwhelmed. And the growth hasn't stopped. In fact, like it's, it's, it's growing, going strong. It's still going strong. And it makes me so happy to see that, you know, just just taking place, you know? Like, this, this is... Like, this is, like, literally a year of hard work on, like, in, in this vessel, <laughs> and it's paying off. I'm just so happy, you know? And, again, I owe it to you guys. I fucking owe it to you guys. Like, everything and more, you know? Like, I will always and forever be grateful and love you guys, like, for everything. It's just so amazing. Seriously. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm just so blown away, like, with the amount of love and support from you guys. Holy shit. Um, but, uh, but yes, uh, one more thing I wanted to address, uh, is to kind of update you guys on, well, the situation. <laughs> um, I had made a video, uh, a few days ago. I can't, I can't remember the exact date. It was, uh, I can't remember if it was, like, October 24th or 25th or something like that, but it was a video where I came to you guys, uh, asking for your guys' help and for your guys' understanding, which, you know, um... Like, once again, you know, heart and hand, I was just, I was like, L listen, it's like, the last time I came to you guys with a video like this was on July 22nd, you know, where I had come to you guys asking for forgiveness, and, you know, where I had stated some changes that was going to be made, and for all intents and purposes, I stand by those changes and always will. Uh, that being the changes of keeping everything positive and, you know, just having them positive vibes all over the place, no matter whether I'm in my shirtless maniac mode or whether, you know, I'm just chilling out with you guys and making some good old-fashioned Pokemon content. Um, to update you guys, um, you know, with the whole research bit, you know, like I said, it, this video is going to be doing, taking a lot of, uh, time and effort and research, and I've been doing a lot of that, so, um, the research is going fairly well. Um, and I can, uh, I can say, uh, I don't want to say a hundred percent, but unless something big crops up, which, you know, cross, cross my fingers, man, I hope it doesn't, but, uh, I should say that the video should be out by the end of next week, uh, at the absolute latest, uh, but like I said, if something big crops up or, you know, if something else happens, you know, I'll update you guys and let you know, 
Um, but part of the reason why I bring this up is because, you know, this, this video is going to be, uh, you know, a battle, so to speak. You know, this kind of reminds me of, uh, The Magnificent Seven. Uh, have you guys ever seen that movie, The Magnificent Seven? Oh, uh, with, you know, the remake in 2016? That movie's fucking terrific. I love it. I mean, I'm, I generally don't watch Western films, but that right there was just like, wow, that was one of the best Western films ever. Uh, I've only seen a few, so, I mean, maybe my, my opinion's kind of, like, limited and skewed and whatnot, but I, I, I don't care. It's a great movie. But it's like, there was the Magnificent Seven that was against an army of, uh, of people, of villains, right? And, you know, I'm just thinking, it's like, you know what? We're kind of like, we're kind of like the Magnificent Seven. Uh, except we're not of uh, seven people, we're of 3,000 plus people. So it's like, we could say that we're like the Magnificent Community, the Magnificent Mega Crasher Army. And we're going against, um, a villain, obviously, uh, that being Felicify. Uh, because a lot of the stuff that he does is villainous and needs to be held accountable. I'm being completely objective when I say that. <laughs> but, you know, like, I just I just absolutely love the amount of support and understanding that you guys have, uh, have given to me in that video and just with this whole thing. It's like even the people that were originally uh, upset with me making, you know, my, uh, my video, which I'd since long gotten rid of, where I was on the spot, you know, pissed off and called out uh, Relispy on his uh, elitism about the whole uh, hyper training thing. You know, I even had comments from, from you guys uh, that were originally upset about it, saying, like, you know, giving me your full support. I'm just like, like, I don't want to say I didn't expect it, because, I, you know, it kind of sounds a little bit rude, but, like, holy shit. Like, it just honestly makes me feel so good. And so at ease to know that I have you guys in my corner if I really and truly need you. And this is one of those times where I am going to need you guys. I mean, you know, if things uh, go south, you know, we as a community, we can overcome anything, okay? And if it just so happens that we, uh, we run into some obstacles, then we treat the obstacles like we treated everything else that we've overcome. It is just another obstacle that we can overcome. And we can overcome very much so with our energy and passion and overall unity and just complete epicness that you guys have uh, in this community. You know, like, like I said, like I, it's all you guys. I owe it to you guys, you know. So um, with that, it's like what what is there to expect for, for uh, year number two, you know. We're embarking on our second year in our journey at the, uh, like on YouTube. <laughs> And it's honestly so amazing to see how far we've gotten and how far we're going to continue to go. <sighs> wow. Like, what is there to expect for uh, for year number two? Well, we won't know until it happens, you know what I'm saying? So just take it one step at a time, cross the, br the bridge when you get there, and just do what you can, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm going to end the video off right here. Uh, holy shit. The video's well over 30 minutes. I just... I just realized the, 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 the fucking time of the video. I'm like, what the hell? Like, that's going to be a long-ass video. So, if you guys are into movies and whatnot, well, get some popcorn. Fucking watch this video because, you know, it's a movie, basically. It's a, it's a short movie, but it's still a movie in comparison. So, with that being said, though, ladies and gentlemen, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, kind of rambly and ranty because, uh, you know, I... Um, like, I had absolutely uh, no way of preparing for a video like this, and there was just there was so much to talk about, but I could only uh, narrow it down to what I felt were the most crucial and critical uh, moments in uh, our channel and our community, such as our milestones, uh, our ups and our downs and all that stuff. Um, but just overall, you know, the, the fact that uh, we are here, you know, still to this day and stronger than ever as a community, you know, putting out Pokemon content, you guys getting it all hyped up, you know, this is mainly a Pokemon channel, and the fact that you guys are supportive of it is just so amazing, and the fact that you guys are, you know, not only making Super Saturday Shoutouts one of the best series, like, on this channel, and also one of the most explosive shoutout series on YouTube, I mean, it's, it's because of you guys that it's as energized and as explosive as ever before, but also our fairly recent uh, additions to uh, this channel, that being Subscriber Showdown Sundays and Two More Tuesdays, which is like Subscriber Showdown Sundays, where you guys 
submit to me the battles that you want to see me uh, narrate, and I do it in my character form, and I do it the absolute best with the amount of insanity that I can. And I just gotta say that that is always a fucking pleasure and honor to be able to do that kind of content for you guys. Like, the fact that you guys go out of your way to fetch me battles that you guys have had, and that you guys are willing to have just for me to have another video for you guys, it's honestly amazing. It honestly really is, you know? Like, I feel like that, like I said, without all of you guys, you know, this channel wouldn't be nothing, and I would be nothing, you know? We wouldn't be a community, we would not be as strong and as united as we are right now. And, you know, right now, you know, it's been one year, and we're embarking on year number two. Just imagine, uh, this time next year, how much stronger and more insane we are going to be. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that right there is going to conclude this video. My mouth and throat is dry as hell, man. I, <coughs> I feel like it's drier than the, the Sahara Desert. I need to hydrate after, uh, this video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I don't even know what the hell to call this video. I'll just say it's like, uh... Happy one year anniversary with a rant or some shit like that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys stuck through uh, to this uh, point in the video, comment down below and, you know, fucking love you. You know, much love to you guys uh, for everything that you do. Uh, not just for me, but for this channel and the community. It's honestly so amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys next time. Take care, everybody. And happy one year, guys. Much love to you all. Actually, ladies and gentlemen, this is not the end of the video, but I promise you I will not take up too much more of your guys' time. My apologies there for the fake out there, ladies and gentlemen, making you guys think that this was, in fact, the end of the video. But I just wanted to edit in something that I felt like was a big moment for, not just for our channel, but for me personally, was when I got my wisdom teeth taken out, and I had to take nearly two weeks off of work. And that right there put a huge damper on how I was going to be doing my uploads for you guys. But I had so much support from you guys. I know that I had Ace of Hearts Gaming do a couple videos for me. Uh, I had my buddy Toby uh, make a drawing parody that he actually wanted me to upload. Uh, so that way I could uh, not only have some content from him, but also he wanted to help me out as well. I mean, honestly, the fact that... You know, there was so much support, not just from those guys, but from all of you guys when I had my wisdom tea taken out. And I was kind of in uh, a little bit of a compromised state, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I couldn't really talk all that much uh, without my jaw flaring up and hurting like hell. Uh, but, you know, I couldn't really make videos that effectively. Uh, I had to stick to making videos that either uh, didn't revolve me talking, such as either uh, sweeping videos or tribute videos. Um, you know, I, or also I had, uh, you know, like I said, uh, Ace Hearts Gaming and, uh, my buddy Toby, uh, step in a few times and make videos for me as well, uh, for me to upload. I just gotta say, though, I mean, that right there, despite the memories being very, very painful physically, uh, was definitely very, very amazing emotionally and, uh, mentally, because it really showed the closeness and what you guys were willing to do for me, and go out of your way to make sure to not only keep the channel alive, but keep the daily uploads going, uh, very, very strong, which, by the way, uh, if you guys haven't, uh, realized, uh, already, I upload daily. Uh, sometimes I'll upload more than daily. I will upload uh, two or three videos depending uh, how much time I have in that day, if either on my days off or whatever. Um, but yeah, you know, it's just like, I felt like that, that was a very, very special, uh, yet very painful moment in my life. I mean, having my wisdom teeth taken out. To be honest with you, I never thought of the fact that I would ever have my wisdom teeth taken out. Because I had them in my jaw for years, and they haven't bothered me once. Um, <laughs> and when I had to, when I had to deal with the pain, I thought to myself, well, god damn it, I have to get them fucking removed now, don't I? Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I remember, I remember I was at the uh, dentist with my stepmom, right? Um, and, uh, I was walking around with an IV pole, uh, and, you know, IVs hanging out of my arm, um, and they had, uh, salt water, uh, being pumped into my uh, veins to make the, uh, make the sedatives uh, go in there a lot easier and whatnot. 
Uh, so I, I was getting uh, I was getting ready to go onto the uh, chair that suddenly turned into a, a flat uh, bed like um, you know so I can't I can't even think of it. It's like it's like it's like a chair that fucking turns into a bed. If if it flat flattens out and you rise up to the heavens above. <laughs> and uh, I remember I was uh, I was rising up to the light. It literally felt like I was rising up to the heavens. I was seeing the light. I'm seeing the light there, dear Lord. I'm seeing the light. <laughs> and uh, and what ended up happening was that as soon as um, as I got up there, um, the do one of the doctors said, "All right, now by the time you say uh, you say um." See you later, mom. You're gonna be asleep, or, or something like that, or not, not asleep. But it was like it was like you're gonna be knocked out because they, they weren't going to put me to sleep, but they were going to make me just completely like just out of it, you know? Like they they put some crazy shit in you, man. And I was just like, what the hell? So it felt like that as soon as I I rose up, like literally seconds later, I got up out of uh, out of the bed and I walked to the waiting room. Like, wait, is it all over already? And I was handing my teeth, I'm like, what the actual fuck? Are you serious right now? Like, I was just like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I was, I, I was overwhelmed, okay? Like, I was just like, you gotta be kidding me, man. Like, I can't believe that it took literally, like, what felt like seconds, but really it was like a, a 10 to 20 minute uh, operation. But it felt like it was like a few seconds, you know? As soon as I was raised up to the heavens and I was pumped full of sedatives... It's like everything just like fast forwarded and I got up out of the bed and went to the waiting room as if nothing happened. But obviously more than just a little something happened. Quite a lot of something happened and it impeded my ability to do quite a lot of things. But I just got to say though, man, you know, despite it being a physically painful memory, it was definitely something that I will never, ever forget, you know, um, it definitely brought a lot of us closer, and it also uh, brought me uh, closer with, uh, you know, with my stepmom. Brought me uh, a lot closer with uh, my dad, which unfortunately I don't get to see those guys very often because I'm generally really busy with work. And it's funny because they they live in the same uh, they live in the same city as I do. So I mean that's that's really fucking uh, weird that you'd think that I wouldn't get to see them all that often. Uh, but you know I generally am pretty busy, and they are pretty busy as well. But the fact that they are living in the same city as me, it's definitely a big convenience factor. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that right there is truly it for this video. Uh, I apologize for dragging it out even further. You guys are probably going to want to knee choke me and slap me and all that stuff. But please, just, you know, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, every single bit of your guys' time and appreciation is more than loved and appreciated. Like, it's, you guys are just so amazing. Uh, I know I say that, like, ha like just a million times in this video and a million times, like, in the past, but it's fucking true, okay? And I never regret telling the truth. That right there is truly going to conclude this video, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Once again, much love to each and every single one of you guys. Hand on heart! Woo! And I will see you guys next upload.